my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is a timeless reading for all signs. Please always take the messages that resonate with you. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. Mm. Um, I'm sensing a little bit of disappointment, though, here, to be honest. It's not bad, though. So, I see the Two of Cups here, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, and then the Star and the Balance card and Strength. Okay. Let me just talk about this. With the Two of Cups being here to the Eight of Cups, um... What I'm really getting here is it feels like someone could possibly have like a soulmate connection. Keep in mind a soulmate could be a friend, a family member, um, a lover. You know, a soulmate can come into your life to absolutely teach you a lot of things. And that's what I'm getting here. It feels like right now you or someone are learning a big lesson. With the Six of Pentacles here, it's a lesson about reciprocity which is equal give and take, this could have something to do with codependency. You could be in a connection with someone, and again, it could be a family member, a lover, whomever, and you could be noticing that there are some patterns of behavior that you're not happy with, and it could be rooted in some type of codependency here. With the Two of Cups, there is love here. There is some type of bond or connection, but you have the Eight of Cups, so the Eight of Cups is can be moving on uh, from something that you don't find emotionally fulfilling or just moving on. I feel like for some of you, there is the di like the dynamic of a situation is not you don't feel like it's it's healthy or it's fulfilling. You want something that is more meaningful, or you're just wanting some type of connection here to grow. Okay, with the Six of Pentacles here, the Six of Pentacles is definitely, like I said, equal give and take. This is giving and receiving. Um, you could want to receive more recognition from a person. You could want to receive more rewards. But the Pentacles, you know, is, is what you can put in your hand. So for some of you, you may feel like you are wanting to move towards a relationship, to be honest, with someone where they're just, they're giving you more or you're wanting to move on from something to pursue like some type of career opportunity. It, it's just someone here is seeking more out of life. Someone could really feel like right now they really need to pay off debts. It, it, it seems, like I said, um, almost like a little bit of melancholy, like some sadness here, but this is something that needs to take place. It feels honestly like it's growing pains. Like somebody realizes that they need to get more serious about their work life, their career, paying off debt. These are the types of emotions that you will begin to sense and feel when you actually want to take something or someone very serious, in my opinion, because the Two of Cups is what we started out with. So the Eight of Cups doesn't always mean that somebody just wants to walk away. It's though someone wants to find more meaning in life. So there could be a bit of a separation. Like someone is like, you know, I think I really need to work more on um, my personal goals at this time. The Five of Swords and the Five of Cups here. The the Fives is always about a major change, okay? And for me, Five, it's like there's a major change here because if you think about going to the number 10, which is a card... Um, not a card, but a number that represents completion. This is like being at the halfway mark of needing to assess and evaluate a situation and realize that, okay, in order for me to actually get to the finish line, I see now that there needs to be more here. Somebody needs more, needs to put in more time, more effort, um, possibly needs to make more money or whatever the case may be because the five of swords is... kind of like an energy of <clears throat> being at odds um, and choosing to kind of bow out gracefully 
or to just surrender a situation. The five of cups. Yeah, this is this is kind of the saddest because it's like this isn't turning out the way that you want it. However, all is not lost. Like you have to see the positive in a situation. It really just feels like for someone right now, like you wanted things to be real happy, go lucky, and you kind of run into this energy right now of there needing to be some kind of reform or change. And that can be challenging, okay? Um, but you have the star here and the balance card. The star, the balance card, and the strength card. Yeah, there's a need to balance something out. Heavy emphasis on balancing with the six of pentacles here. This is like temperance energy. This is, you know, understanding that you have spiritual needs or you may have a spiritual connection with someone, some kind of bond. However, you still have to honor your um you still have to honor like all of your actual responsibilities and and i noticed this a lot in the collective right now as these timelines are shifting once again um and people are moving more into their purpose one thing that i have started to really pick up on since like the, the recent full moon in sagittarius is one big revelation i had is many of us as you really step into that purpose and you you have you know the spiritual sight or whatever you still have to remember that you are here to live a human experience you know connections soulmate connections or whatever people get so caught up in the spiritual realm that you literally are neglecting everything that's actually here in the physical realm just because you can pick up on um past lives or what's in the spiritual realm it doesn't make sense to continuously bring those spiritual battles here to your actual reality. And that's the reason why a lot of people are not experiencing growth and abundance in their life because you literally are looking at everything in your day-to-day -day life like it is a battle. And that's not actually true. That That's a perspective that people have gained through, you know, getting more into the occult or, or tools of divination, tarot. It's a reprogramming and conditioning of the mind that leads you to forgetting that, some of these spiritual battles, you know, it, 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 it's going to be there. But just because you can see it, just because you know it doesn't mean that that's what you have to tune into. Yeah. And then the star. So someone here has very strong, like, healing energy. But this is requiring someone to really dig in with the strength card. Like, really, really finding that... that strength that that muscle that courage to give yourself some kind of grace and compassion to just see that right now it just feels like something right now is is maybe not the right timing because someone needs to focus on prioritizing certain things in their life it's like the emotions is here but then you get to the six of pentacles and then there's the air and water again it's like, okay, for somebody here, it's like the honeymoon phase is over. Yeah, I like this, but I love you. But now where, where exactly is the reciprocity? Where is the security? Where is the stability? Where Where is the advancement? Where are the promotions? Where is the, re the rewards and recognition? Something here, it feels like it's going sour because it's just not enough being added to it. Yeah, and the Ten of Wands here, something is becoming a burden. So someone is like, okay, let me figure out what do I need to learn from this situation. And I feel like right now, for some of you, what you're needing to actually learn from a situation is that it's extremely important for you to be very confident at this time and manifest what you want. And when we say manifesting what you want, you can't be in a situation and things are just not going well. This doesn't always mean that you have to leave everyone behind. And no, that's not what that always means. But here there is some type of disappointment. And this disappointment is coming up because spirit is trying to show someone that you actually have the power to change a situation here. But with the Queen of Wands, you do need to take action. You need to stretch yourself further. You need to use your own tools and resources, especially with the Magician card here. This is all like fire energy. This is saying that at this time, 
you shouldn't be underestimating yourself. There can be situations in your life when you're not receiving uh, what you feel as though you deserve or what you desire. It will start to play on your um, your confidence, your self-esteem. Spirit is saying right now, it will be a very unwise choice for you to get disappointed in the situation and carry some type of burden and forget that you literally are in this earth angel starlight energy. Whatever this situation is for you, it's actually preparing you for something bigger. But you need to understand that right now, you need to step into your power. It's a time for someone to really learn the importance of being independent. There's the King of Cups. So you have the Two of Cups here. Um, you have the Two of Cups, the Temperance card, and the King of Cups here. So something, wow, and the Ace of Pentacles. So something is being balanced out. For some of you, if this is a relationship, you could be feeling like, oh my gosh, like something is bad here. This is about to end. Some of you, there's a, a separation here or a need for you to look at something more closely. It, it just feels like right now on your journey, you're not meant to be giving everything that you have to another person because there's like this wound here of you needing to heal from some kind of codependency, or if it's not you, it's like spirit is saying, be careful because you're kind of slipping into that danger zone of going into something that could become codependent, where you or another person are relying too heavily on each other. So like I said, this could be, you know, someone that you do business with. It could be a friend, a family member, a lover, but spirit is like, you need to back up and make sure that you're in your power because someone is relying a bit too heavily on you or you're relying too heavily on someone else. You care too much about what somebody thinks or what they have or don't have. This could be a mom and child. You're still needing to make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Someone's entire life at some point is beginning to be focused on something or someone else that's not actually putting you in a position of peace, prosperity, and abundance. The Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah, with the Eight of Cups, the Star, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody here wants to go towards something that brings abundance. Definitely like a business. So somebody could be making a decision right now that they're not going to be as focused on a relationship because they truly need to be focused on Six of Pentacles um, and the Ace of Pentacles. Here's the Eight of Swords and right behind it is the Ten of Cups and the World. I just, I feel like to be honest, for some of you, this could actually be like a, um, a connection that you could be in. I don't feel like it's something bad. I just feel that someone is growing. But this, this has a major effect on the dynamic of a situation here. It's a cycle that's ending. You have card number 11 here and card number one. So you could be seeing 11, 11, 1, 1, 1. You could be um, life path number one. But this is about leadership. And then you have the 10 of wands. It's like there's too much going on. Someone is, is understanding that they need to get their life in balance. There, somebody is feeling overworked, overwhelmed, very, very stressed out with the five of swords. When you start to get stressed out about things, you begin to make unwise choices and decisions in your life. You start to question it. It's a lot of chaos and conflict here because someone here is, is, is over, overworked, overburdened. So this could be someone could be dealing with a lot of stress at work and they're taking it out on everyone at home. But here's a Ten of Cups, the world, yeah, and the Nine of Pentacles. There's a lot of success that, that's coming, but literally someone right now has to shift their focus from their relationships to their actual financial security and stability and their overall well-being. Yeah, cutting the deck here, you have the Four of Swords. Yeah. It's like somebody needs to take some time out. So this is for some of you, it's a connection and you and someone right now, it's, it's good for you to take some time out. Or somebody is even thinking right now, like, is this something that I need to pursue? Someone right now could be thinking about, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. I feel like right now, um, there's like a time out because there's some type of major work 
situation or something with someone's finances that a person really needs to take time out to think about. You could be wanting to um, change your job or your career, go back to school, start a business, and there's a situation in your life or something in your environment that has perhaps been overwhelming to you. Um, and it could be with someone that you, you're very close to. For some, Sometimes, you know, you have friends and they're constantly calling you or texting you or coming over. Or they're inviting you out. And it's like right now, spirit is like, I'm trying to get you to the next level. I need you to stop for a moment and focus. Like you need to focus on the situation at hand. And it's not these other people. And what's what's coming up here is someone feels the need to keep helping or sticking around for people um, because of a, a some type of loyalty. But it's like someone's loyalty is making them a, a slave to a situation that is creating more burdens to them. Someone's sense of loyalty is actually coming from a lot of codependency. Because why exactly do you feel as if you owe someone all of your time, effort, and energy when you know for a sure fact that you should actually be trying to get yourself to the next level? Right now, it's like Spirit is saying you need to be dedicated to yourself. You need to be dedicated to your own craft. You need to be dedicated to making more money for yourself. You need to be dedicated to healing yourself. This is not the season for you to take your torch and pass it to somebody else. That's, that's not this season for you or whoever this is for. Because it really does just feel like someone here is really, really trying to take care of everything and everyone around them and they're neglecting themselves. And whenever a person does that, you know, we, we tend to think, oh, I'm so nice or that person is so nice, but that's actually not good because they're saying that you're willing to not take care of yourself or to dishonor yourself to show up for somebody else. And this is causing some kind of procrastination. Like someone here should really be working on something in their own life. Like somebody has something right in their face, right under their nose that they should be focusing on. And it feels to me very much like a financial matter or someone here is trying to gain some sense of security and stability. But you have here the seven of cups while the empress and the nine of cups. There's like a need to make a decision here because it's too much confusion or there's illusions here. And then you have the empress and the nine of cups. It's something here that can bring you a lot of wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups and the Empress here. But especially if this is the Divine Feminine Energy, and it doesn't have to be, there's something that you need to take your time out to reflect on, maybe even take a vacation, staycation, or whatever. But it's like you need to be in the lab working on something. All of these pentacles is here. There's something that is like really crying out, page of pentacles that needs your attention. Yeah. It's like Spirit is saying right now, you need to protect what you've already worked for. Here's a nine of wands. So there's two nines here. You're getting closer and closer to the end of some kind of cycle, but you really need to protect whatever you've already built or created. It's like you're so, so close to the finish line with something here. And then here's the Knight, the knight of Cups and the High Priestess. <clears throat> so in other words, what Spirit is saying is in this season, you need to continue cleaning up your house, like getting yourself ready for um, partnerships and relationships. But you need to make sure that whoever or <clears throat> whatever you are investing in, that you first invest in yourself and that you have that security or stability. Because if you don't, whatever you are not doing right now, it's going to come up later. And that would be a very unwise choice for you to go and get yourself into some type of situation, situationship or connection, partnership or whatever. And then on the tail end, all of a sudden, you look and you realize, oh, wow, you know, you put all of your dreams aside for this person or this situation. And I mean, the two of cups came out first. So whatever this partnership or relationship is here. 
if you're not careful, it can become a distraction. Or maybe you have been very distracted by some type of relationship or friendship. And spirit is like really, really trying to get your attention and say, hey, you need to get your emotions in check and balance them. Because there is some type of like love offer coming towards you with the Knight of Cups here and the High Priestess. But you need to listen to your intuition. And here's the Knight of Wands. Some of you, your intuition is trying to let you know that someone right now, they're, yeah, they're the Knight of Cups, but they're also very passionate. Or this person could be the Knight of Wands. This, this could be someone that comes towards you. Mm, I'm getting something very different here. For some of you, let me see. Six of Swords, Ace of Wands. I don't know if this is someone that's currently in your life or somebody new coming in. But it, it feels like what I'm getting right now is Spirit is saying you need to get yourself completely together because whoever is coming towards you, the situation is going to take off very fast. This Knight of Cups comes to you. The High Priestess is here. And then the Knight of Wands. Someone will come towards you with some kind of emotionally fulfilling offer, but they're going to be very passionate. The Knight of Wands moves fast. And this could be any kind of opportunity. Okay, this could be someone that comes towards you like ready to do business with you. With the page of wands here, some, something very creative, something artistic. It's like a new person is about to come into your life and everything is going to happen very fast because you have here the tower. It's going to be some kind of like revelation, some type of tower moment, divine intervention. But it's going to take you to where you need to go. The six of swords is here, the ace of wands, and then the three of cups. Yeah, it's like right now you need to be making space for whatever this 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 opportunity is. Because it's like somebody is about yeah, justice. This something is balancing out. Ju wow, justice. Justice, the wheel, the three of wands, and then here the fool. With the three of swords here. Someone you have to free yourself completely from a situation that has brought you some kind of sadness or disappointment because something is about to balance out in your life. I just feel strongly like, like God right now is just like, you need to just get in position. Something is about to come in. That's going to be very shocking. It's some, it's a person, but this person brings in like an offer or some kind of opportunity that could be very, um, it could be life changing. It could be very beneficial to you or your business. But right now, you need to understand this is a time for you to really start making positive shifts and changes in your own life. That something here is about to happen suddenly. And the three of wands, it, it leads to a lot of prosperity, abundance, and ex this is about your expansion. The three of wands and the fool card. Like things are about to start looking very, very good for you. And it requires you to take some kind of leap of faith and free yourself from something that has brought you sadness. The King of Pentacles and then the Hangman here. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. This could be you or even this other person. Someone here is about to for sure go into a time of there being more success. We already have the Queen of Pentacles here. So if this is a connection, for some of you, it's like you and your person both need to be focused on your individual like goals, your career, your healing. And the, the relationship itself will actually become more in sync and, and head towards some kind of union when you and this person you heal and deal with your individual like issues obstacles and challenges right now because this is the king of pentacles with the hangman so you have someone here who is about to learn something about um how to be more practical or more generous or how to really be more of a provider Someone here is about to figure out something about their career path. Yeah, nine of swords here after being stressed out or like expecting the worst about something. The page of swords, somebody's finally about to see something in a different way. Someone is about to learn something new and it's going to lead to the sun. The sun, the hermit. It's, so somebody is about to get on a path of self-discovery here. Yeah, moving forward, the chariot. So cancer season is going to be a time for some people to really get your, like, get your house in order, you know? 
Um, that's what I'm getting here. It's like you, it's time to, to get, get your home in order. The Cancer New Moon is July 5th. When does Cancer season start? Hmm. Okay, cancer season starts. Okay, makes sense. And that's June 20th, and it's the summer solstice. So today is June 11th. So right now, for some of you, you're starting to feel this shift in energy. Two of swords here, you're like, okay, you're feeling like you need to make some kind of decision, and it's a decision about what you need to be working on. Eight of Pentacles. This, this requires some kind of self-mastery here, and then here's a Hierophant. And this card says unity. So somebody here, it's like you need to go towards like a community. You need like-minded people around you. Um, maybe this is a time for you to get like a coach or a mentor. Just something like that that's really going to help you. Because somebody needs to like quickly get out of some type of bondage. You have the knight of swords, the ten of swords, and the devil card here. Yeah. Somebody here is for sure going through like a serious spiritual awakening. But what this spiritual awakening is about to do is it's going to show someone that they really need to release, like I said, some type of toxic traits, some type of codependency here, a lack of self-worth or value, you know, feeling like you need to take care of other people. And here's the lover's card and the re and death release followed by the ace of cups. So either you're choosing to walk away from a person entirely and it's going to put you in a season of you really focusing a lot on a lot of self-love, which will, of course, bring in a new person for you. This is card number six and 13. June 13th could be significant to someone or it's like there's going to be a renewal of love in a situation that you're in now. But it's, it comes after an ending. It comes after an ending of a cycle. It comes after someone realizes that they have to get out of their ego after someone realizes that they cannot be stuck in toxic codependent type of relationships or putting other people before themselves. In healthy relationships, you should not be putting the other person necessarily before yourself. Your life should not be, you know, becoming imbalanced because you're trying to make sure that someone else is, is balancing their life. That person should be responsible for themselves. Yeah, because here it's like you're supposed to be right now working to discover your life purpose. So there's things that you have to let go of. Mindset. Yeah, and the victim consciousness card is here and self-sabotage. Healing. This is a lot of deep healing. Somebody here has been sabotaging themselves because they're stuck in a victim mindset. Or they, they, they surround themselves with a lot of people who have a victim mindset of, oh, you know, help me, help me, help me. And somebody, you know, is possibly like an empath. And every time a person needs help, they want to help, but they're neglecting themselves. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with, or it could be both of you. I'm definitely picking up something here for some, for some like about kids or family, like somebody neglects their own like household or family because they're so busy taking care of other people and their family or someone is literally neglecting their relationship because they're trying to help you know a friend or a family member and it's like okay you're about to literally miss out on your own blessings and opportunities because you can't seem to let go of the mindset that you are here to save everyone that's not that's not what you're here to do sharing gifts talents abilities you know, helping individuals is great, but you should not ever feel as though you're not worthy of taking care of yourself. Yeah, look at that. Surrender stress. Somebody here is under a lot of stress. Surrender to receiving support and love. If you don't allow yourself to receive the same kind of love that you are offering to other people, what eventually will happen is you will become very resentful because in your time of need, you will notice that the people that you're constantly helping, they're not showing up to help you. And I feel like that's what the tower moment is about to be here. Someone is about to realize that, okay, when I really, really need help, nobody is there to help me. Or this could be if it's a partnership Somebody is like, they're putting you on the back burner and they're about to realize, okay, the main person that has been in my corner is divine feminine or divine masculine or whomever, but yet I've been pretty much, you know, putting them on the back burner to help friends, family, or whomever. Someone is about to have that wake up call that, and like, see, you really need to get your priorities together. 
So I feel like if this is for sure like a romantic relationship for some of you, let's say you're dealing with the kind of person and they're putting their friends or their family before this connection. Spirit is saying you pull your energy back. Let this person see that you've been in their corner. Or for some of you, even if this is a past situation, someone is recognizing now your true worth and value because you're pulling your energy back and they're noticing that they've put everyone before you and in their time of need, those people can't help them at all. Those people can't save them, can't protect them. But the person that actually has the answers, the tools and the resources is the one person that they've been putting on the back burner. And you're going to have to surrender the idea that you can fix someone. You can't fix this. This type of, um, you can't fix this. You just have to allow this to unfold naturally and allow someone to see for themselves. And sometimes it takes a person to lose you to understand what they had. Yeah, surrender to effortlessness. Yeah, you don't need to keep pushing in this situation. You need to just go with the flow. Flow like water. Because right now, it's time for a relationship to shift. And you don't need to try to fix someone. You don't need to try to show them where they went wrong, what they're doing wrong. No, you need to just let this situation unfold because spirit is about to show someone very, very soon that they are putting their energy into the wrong people for the wrong reasons. Because it feels to me like someone is on the brink of collapsing. That's, that's what the energy that I get. Like somebody literally is about to start to see things fall apart in their own life because they've been so busy trying to fix everyone else. And this could be you. And you could be in a situation now or it's coming up where you're going to look around and be like, wow, it's really just nobody but me and God. And God is doing that to show you, you need to stop idolizing other people and prioritizing these relationships that really are not that important in your life because there's a lot here that you should be focused on. All of these pentacles are here. And Spirit's like, if you focus on what you need to focus on, your security and stability, people in your life are either going to follow suit or they're going to fall off and the right people will come into your life. Um, let me see. self-image here is still at the bottom of the day. This is a time for you to improve your overall self-image. It's like you're in a crossroads. Something is up in the air possibly with someone that's a soulmate. You, it's starting to feel like you don't really know where you stand with somebody. And that's actually a good, when you don't know where you stand, you know, people say no decision is a decision. It's like if somebody can't seem to let you know what it is, then you you know exactly what it's not. You know, someone here has to make a choice with crossroads. And up in the air also is a lack of stability. There is no stability here. Yeah, and the soulmates is here with the two of cups being the first card out. It's definitely some kind of soulmate connection. But this situation... Whatever this tower moment is, it's going to really help someone grow. And sometimes, you know, you're in a person's life to just teach them a lesson. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. But either you or someone else are really about to learn a serious lesson about not being codependent, not putting other people before yourself, not trying to, you know, fix and change people. Somebody here is constantly trying to fix and change people. Learning, see, you have a soulmate here that's teaching you a very like serious lesson or you're teaching them. And then you have your single life. Single life, this could be you being single or, you know, one thing about the single life is this is about you working on yourself, becoming more self-reliant. Like I said, some people could be single, but they're still very codependent. They can't do anything by themselves. They always need some type of help or the opinion of somebody else or whatever the case may be. It's like somebody here needs to finally become self-sufficient, self-reliant. 
And to do that, somebody needs to stop allowing people to rely so heavily on them because codependency is a two-way street. If you are allowing everyone to rely so heavily on you, that means that you're codependent to the idea of you need somebody to need you. You still want or need someone in your company. You need to ask yourself, why can't you just do things alone? Why can't you make decisions alone? This is either you or someone in your life. And if you have this kind of person in your life, the spirit is saying is that you need to stop enabling this person. You know, it, it's like, um, I remember when I went to college and my mom told me, you don't have to call me every day. Not, and I was never like that anyway. Trust me, I was the only child and very, very independent. But it was, my mom was just like, you know, you you now are away from home. You know, you don't, you don't have to call. She was letting me know, like, you don't have to check in every day because you need to grow and learn that in, in a moment of you needing to learn something or make a decision, you don't have to call home. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of you, you, you literally have adults in your life and every single decision that they make, they feel like they need to call you. They need to text you. You're not these people's mom or dad, especially in romantic relationships. You don't want to have the type of dynamic where you and someone, it's like parent and child. You know, I, I can remember years ago, I had close friends and I'm, you know, me, I'm, like I said, I'm the only child and I'm very, I'm a loner just by default. You know, but I hate when people, every single time they get in the car, they need to be on the phone. Every time they walk through the store, they need to be on the phone and they're telling you everything that they're doing. That's a person that is afraid to be alone. And I'm not willing to be somebody's crutch. Every time they need to make a decision, they need to call somebody. What that tells me is that you don't know how to be self-reliant and self-sufficient. And people like that have a hard time being abundant. Because to be someone that's successful, you have to know how to be independent. You have to be a self-starter. You know, you have to know how to make decisions on your own and take risks. I'm just hearing like and seeing like somebody every single time they make a decision, they need to run it by you. I have friends that are in marriages and relationships like that. They on the phone all the time. You go out of town with your best friend, and their husband has to call for every every single thing and it's like okay is this your husband or your child it's ridiculous and it's a lot of people like that and it, it's obvious especially in the dynamic of like men or it's obvious that man cannot lead a household because they need that woman for everything and i mean the same thing it's some women are in relation they ask the man everything they cannot make a decision on their own that's a very, very toxic, codependent relationship. That's where the control issues and the resentment and everything else comes into play. It becomes very stressful. Nobody wants to deal with a person that acts like a child. You have your crystal ball, man, and poor health. So for some of you, this, is, this could be a man in your life. This person eventually is going to start experiencing some type of poor health. And I feel like it's more mental health. Someone here is, a, is about to experience a lot of stress. And they're about to recognize the reason why. It's because this person, either they, they try to carry too much weight of trying to help their friends or family. Or they're too um, dependent on other people. It could be a little bit of both. Yeah, and you have here renewal. You have to go through some type of renewal here in your life. But this feels like a masculine. Maybe a lot of people depend on this person financially or for solutions. This person needs to go through a very serious inner transformation because this person doesn't realize that they're becoming extremely stressed by trying to take care of a lot of people and situations. This person could be very stressed out about their future as well. So, like I said, for some of you, this is someone in your life. And through you, you're going to teach this person the importance of self-love and having boundaries. I don't know if this is romantic for some of you, but for sure, it's like someone here, they are completely overextending themselves and they're it's crippling them. It's breaking them down. Because someone is at a point where they're starting to neglect themselves.
you have here it says fragmented. It's too many things going on at once. Somebody needs to change um, their location, their environment, their job. Yeah, this could be even in, in work. You know, someone is a boss and trying to make sure so many things are together. I just feel like today this reading is really channeling a person who is extremely stressed out and overwhelmed. Somebody could even be dealing with, you know, like some, some light depression. It feels like an overwhelming amount of stress, though. Because someone is trying so hard to take care of other people. But I also feel that, especially if you are a feminine here, spirit is saying that you need to allow this person to go through this and you need to continue being focused on you. Because if you allow this situation to bleed over in your life, it's going to stop you from whatever you're working on. And it's sort of like how you treat this person and deal with this situation is going to be a lesson for them. If that makes sense. Because you're teaching someone the importance of boundaries. This could be you telling someone like, no, I can't hang out with you because I have work to do. No, I, I can't talk to you right now because I committed to doing whatever. This person, when they see how you handle your life and your business, they're going to recognize that they're very different. This is the kind of person they answer every single phone call, every single text. And they could even, these people like this, they are offended by people who have boundaries. They'll say that you're mean. Oh my gosh, why didn't you answer? Because I care about myself. I care about my well-being. I'm not going to let you come and, and, and punch holes in my boat and I sink. Because you don't know how to have personal boundaries. So it's like you and someone are teaching one another the importance of living for yourself, working for yourself. And just having boundaries. Because look, like I said, somebody surviving, somebody here is barely hanging on. They're in survival mode right now. And something here is about to strike. So something is about to really take a turn. But I think that this feels like it's going to be a good tower. Because it's going to be a tower that teaches someone like, okay, I really have to change. And someone could go through like some type of betrayal even of like really thinking that the people that they work the hardest for are going to be there for them in their time of need. And someone is about to realize like, no, you're really in this by yourself. And it's going to teach a person, you better be careful, you know, who you spend all of your time, effort, and energy on. Especially if this is someone, like I said, if you have been in their corner and they've neglected you. And keep in mind, this could be, you know, even people from your past looking like, oh, wow, that person was always there for me. This could be people now that you're saying, like, no, I'm working on myself. They're looking at you like, oh, you're so mean. No. <laughs> but why should you put yourself last? Why should you, you know what I'm saying, make yourself an option for someone that's not choosing you? That's because you have self-worth and value. Yeah, look. The devil. You have to have the strength and the courage to not allow yourself to get into whatever this toxic situation is. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I just looked at these cards over here. You're moving away from a situation. And it's going to reveal some type of truth. And a, someone is going to recognize an illusion for sure. The strength card here, it's like right now you're needing to hold back from someone and move forward. Two cards here of movement. I'm even getting here for somebody. You literally, Someone could literally relocate or travel away from someone because it's like, well, you know, you really didn't know how to value me while I was there. So I chose me. That's what it's really feeling like. Like someone is, is about to do something very drastic because spirit is, is guiding them to choose themselves. And this is leading to a passionate new beginning here. Yeah, because there needs to be some kind of equal give and take. This could be someone that chooses to move away from like family because they're like, you guys, you're you're just, you're doing too much. It's too difficult. Yeah. And here again, we have the lovers and the star. For some of you, there is a connection here for sure. But it's like someone, they have some kind of baggage. And there it is, that tower, the six of cups. Somebody here is about to have a revelation about how they've been taught that they're meant to take care of everyone. Someone here needs to take the lead in their own life. And stop allowing themselves to go without while they help everyone else. This is the clarity that someone is about to receive. 
It could be you or someone else. Heavy um, King of Wands energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this masculine could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or they have that in their chart. Gemini and Cancer season is significant. You have two cards out here, Cancer and Gemini. So for somebody out here, and like I said before, like the Sagittarius full moon, someone really could be having some type of, of subconscious blockage that's being cleared. The mindset of, oh, I have to take care of everyone because I'm a leader or whatever. Someone is about to realize, like, no, you actually don't have to take care of everyone because everyone that you're taking care of, they're, they're never there to take care of you. And someone is, is definitely neglecting a partnership because of this mindset. They're about to have a wake-up call. <laughs> but if this is your situation, just continue to be focused on yourself. Okay? So that's what I have for you. I really hope that this gave you a bit of clarity and insight about this situation. Always go with and so that you never go without. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye.